While Perry Sound's town docks currently are home to just a few boats, including the Island Queen while she awaits her summer start, they will soon be much more busy with much larger ships. The town is scheduled to see 33 cruise ship visits this year, a record since 2017. Perry Sound's economic development officer says that's no accident. It's due to hard work and building good relationships during the height of the pandemic when the cruise line industry found itself at nearly a standstill. And uh, we use this time to establish, to communicate better with existing, uh, with known to us cruise ship operators, but also with new entrants, specifically European lines. Uh, I have to point out here that Perry Sound is also a member of Great Lakes Cruise Association, and they help us a lot in promoting the town as part of the whole uh, Great Lakes experience yep. to international uh, operators, as already said. Mm -hmm. So in those two years uh, during COVID, we built up a relationship with uh, several European cruise ship operators. So when uh, restrictions were lifted last year for the first time in two years, uh, the town of Parisound welcomed 20 cruise ship visits by four operators um, operating six uh, cruise ships, mm -hmm. uh, six vessels. Uh, four of them basically brand new, built in the last three to four years. So that's, that was quite a record year for the town. And more cruise line stops means even more tourism traffic to the town of Perry Sound, something the chamber isn't taking lightly. Well, we've had some brainstorming sessions. We've come up with some strategies, ways to uh, market towards them when they get here. Mm -hmm. They don't have a lot of space to bring items back, uh, but they are definitely looking to do things. They do have spending money. They're looking out for a lot of local flavor. Uh, they like to take in um, some of the uh, biosphere uh, components. Mm -hmm. There's bike tours being offered, which is great. There's a demand for uh, fishing charters, water taxis, tours around town, unique shopping experiences, craft shops, painting. So there's, there's definitely the opportunities there. We're just trying to, to address kind of how we can tackle it this year and moving forward. One local business that adapted to meet the needs of these tourists seeking local experiences is Perry Sound Bikes. As of last year, we started offering bike tours for the cruise boat guests, and that's done really well. Um, it's a great opportunity for our business to offer these tours, um, and also just a nice way to have the guests of the boats be able to see Perry Sound in a different way. So this is a new sort of avenue for our business. We are predominantly a, a bicycle shop that offers sales and service in a brick and mortar location. Mm -hmm. um, so the tour are, are a new avenue for us for sure. Yeah. Um, it's meant that for this season we will be hiring a tour coordinator to organize and also run the bike tour. So yeah, it's, a, it's an opportunity for our business for sure. So why is Perry Sound, which was only seeing a handful of cruises a few years before the pandemic started, now becoming such a visitor hotspot for these cruises? It's a natural beauty. We benefit from the location. So it's very easy to promote Perry Sound, if you know what I mean. Yeah. But also, uh, and I repeat myself here, also we are part of uh, Great Lakes Cruise Association yeah. and they are expert in all things international cruising. They have been doing this for many, the executives have been doing this for many, many years. Mm -hmm. So they actually, they, they have visited us a number of times alone and with some of the cruise ship line rep, uh, executives on what is called farm tours. Uh, so they help us a lot to promote the town globally because obviously we're a small uh, municipality, just 7,000 residents. Yeah. So it's a bit difficult to compete with places like Vancouver or Montreal yeah. or, you know, New York, for example. But, but our membership is incredibly helpful to us.